I stand with Louise because I believe in fair, equal justice. Was it that the police failed in their duty to ensure that all people were treated fairly and equally? Or were they biased against those within the LGBT community? Was it their bias or their disdain of the LGBT community that prohibited them from being neutral when conducting what should have been a thorough and rigorous investigation and for all facts to be brought before the judiciary. You cannot make an informed decision unless the courts or the judiciary or the uh, jury have all the facts that they need to ensure a fair hearing is conducted. Without that, how is the case then decided? It would be in the public's best interest because this is public funds that's been spent. The victim can't speak for themselves, um, neither can the accused, who is now sadly deceased. Regrettably, however, the public need to be aware that it is their money that is spent in deciding who is innocent or not. And if misappropriation of funds continues, how would resources ever be spent effectively? If you don't hold those to account, and if there's no thorough, rigorous accountability or auditing of misappropriation, then the cycle will continue. People are afforded immunity for various reasons, whether it's, you know, children, young people, working professionals, their data is not put on, on public records, and those that need to be kept safe. But David Morris wasn't in that category. But why did they do that? Because there's information in that PII which would prove his innocence. Therefore, they need to be opened up. Yeah, well, there you go then. Because if that information wasn't given... And it's, and it's pertinent to someone's defence, innocence or guilt, then the jury should have known that to make an informed decision. And oftentimes, the public are not aware of how cases are conducted. A judge can only rule on the evidence that's put before him. This is what many citizens fail to understand. A judge and jury can only make a fair and balanced decision on the evidence put before them. And if crucial critical evidence is never put before the, the jury, how is it ever going to be redressed? There is no legal redress. There is no justice. Justice should be afforded to, to everybody. We need the Bureau of Investigative Journalism to take on this case.